Hey, how's it going? It's Chris with PearsonCopy.com, and I'm here to help your brand to make more sales with email. As part of my 100 emails in 100 days breakdown challenge, I am breaking down a, an offer email from the brand called Let Us Grow. Um, it is a play on words. Um, it is a brand that sells farm stand to the table, and they're selling a lot of greens and vegetables and things that you can order um, and get delivered to your door. So uh, with that being said, uh, I guess the reason why I picked up this email, uh, opened it, and wanted to break it down is um, I was going through my inbox found this email, opened it, and I like the idea of let's go bowling. So um, that's a different, a different unique take that I've not seen before. So the idea of bowling um, brought up some nostalgia from being a kid and going bowling with my family, um, but also the plan words of um, a bowl of greens, essentially. So uh, that that brought that brought me into the email, brought me into the content to get me to read because that little clever phrase, a little turn of phrase there uh, got me to consider the email. So uh, with that being said, I'll go ahead and jump into this email and break it down. This is a direct offer email. Um, they do a little bit of copy and then they offer a bundle and then they ask you to buy. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, the, the subject line here, freshen up all caps with an emoji. It looks like a wreath. It could be a vegetable of some kind, but it looks like a wreath. Um, that was a little confusing when I clicked and actually looked at it again. Uh, I was like, uh, this is a Christmas email or what does that mean? Um, I could be off here with an emoji. It's very small for me, but um, I did click on this because I've been looking, watching Let Us Grow for a while, and I wanted to see what their emails were like um, after a couple of weeks of, of being on the list. Uh, so yeah, the subject line here, the all caps, um, all caps can play a role. You can use it, um, but typically all caps for people just to subconsciously, if they see all caps, like, oh, this is a spam email or it's a promo email, it's some kind of marketing email. So um, if that changes in the near future, uh, disregard that from what I'm saying, but all caps typically doesn't get the open, doesn't get the, doesn't get the attention as much as you think it does. Um, even though it is all caps and most, most subject lines in email, uh, from, from marketing companies, from brands are lower, um, title case or lowercase, um, or just the first letters capitalized. Right. So this, this may be a shortcut or a way to think that you can send out in the inbox, but really, uh, what we want to do is instead of say freshen up, maybe use the phrase, let's go bowling. Um, and uh, use curiosity and a tease or some kind of promise to get people to open the email as opposed to just capital letters. So that's that's some insight there. I would test against this, this subject line and see which one would actually get more opens uh, based on that that insight. Uh, next year, let us grow and help at letusgrow.com for the from name and the email address. Uh, I think this is fine. This is great. This is from a brand. So they're, they're, they're sticking with their brand facing the customer as opposed to somebody else representing the brand. So let us grow the brand name help at. Um, I would potentially change this help at. Uh, from name, uh, sorry, from address uh, to something like info or help or something a little more conversational and personal. Uh, the help at definitely points to the idea of it being a support channel. So if you reply, you're going to get uh, maybe not get a reply because it is a support email. Um, or if you reply, you might get a canned response and not actually get what you need from it. So um, even if even if you don't reply very often to your customers who who send you emails from based with replies, uh, having an email just that makes it feel like it's more personal, a little more conversational is going to help with people opening because they're going to see that and recognize it a little better. So um, as we move down the email here, we have the let us grow. So the brand name here, very small banner, header banner, which I like. Um, it, it, lets the, it lets the reader know that they're in the right place. They're, they open the email for let us grow and uh, they're in the right place. It acknowledges the fact that they're there. Um, it's not too big, it's not too intrusive, so it doesn't, it doesn't pull the eyes away from actually scrolling down, it doesn't interrupt that pattern of scrolling. Um, it's just a real quick let us grow in the right place and they're, all, and they're moving. Uh, the next few elements here, we have the image of the greens. Um, and this is the type of products that let us grow sells. Um, also, it is set up in bowls and it looks like a plate, but that could be a bowl. Um, and that's the whole idea of the theme of this email is let's go bowling. So they're saying, hey, let's eat some greens in a bowl. Um, and I think they do that well with this initial uh, branded um, stage or setup image. Um, and then let's go bowling with the phrase. Um, this phrase here, I think, uh, like I mentioned, the subject line, I'll just kind of talk about why I chose this email. Let's go bowling. That um, brought some nostalgia for me. Um, as a kid, I went bowling with my family quite often uh, when it was raining out or we couldn't get outside to play sports or do anything outside like hike or anything like that. So we'd go bowling. Um, and so that's one of the reasons I like this email is it brings up some nostalgia. But um, with that being said, if Let Us Grow spent a little bit more time um, and maybe tested some ideas here, like let's go bowling, that, that brings up a lot of different thoughts for a lot of different people. Um, the actual bowling, they're trying to, uh, I guess, re rebrand the phrase bowling to bowling greens, right? So you can go bowling on a green, you can go bowling in a lane, you can go bowling in these different places. There's a lot of opportunity here to take that clever phrase and actually make it emotionally meaningful for people. For me, it's meaningful because actually bowling in a lane that's what I did as a kid with my family. For other people, bowling on a green. So if you're, um, depending on where they're selling, which countries and things, this can mean something different. So I would just say, even though it's clever and it makes sense, I would just be wary of going too clever um, and be more concise uh, and test that and see what kind of clicks and um, sales you're going to get by just changing up this headline. 
Uh, the next two pieces here are the copies. So there's two paragraphs. Um, looks like it's just two sentences, two, three, four, two, three sentences. Um, whether it's a hearty lunch or build your own bar, one thing's for sure. Bulls are really great at doing it all, kind of like you. So they're acknowledging the fact that they're talking about bulls, uh, bulls full of greens. Um, and then they make a general compliment here to the customer. Bulls are really great at doing it all, which is true. Um, you can use a bull uh, to eat, to hold things, to store things. Like bulls can do a lot of things, right? And then they and they make a, a, a offhand comment of kind of like you being great at doing it all. So something here, this may work, uh, but I would test not using the comment compliment or getting more specific about the compliment. So kind of like you being great at doing it all is very general. It can cover a lot of people. But if you if you said bulls are really great at doing it all and maybe put a benefit outcome statement here as opposed to a compliment. So, and when you use bowls to eat our greens, you get X, Y, and Z and a benefit outcome, et cetera. Um, that's gonna potentially be more powerful than just saying, hey, you're nice looking, so I like you. Um, get more specific on the problem and the solution that the customer is looking for or they have they're looking for and the outcome that they, they desire and use your copy to, to talk about those things. And it's going to, it's going to create a, a deeper emotional connection because it's directly related to something specific of theirs, as opposed to something general, like you look nice. Um, stuff like this, these little, just these little upgrades or little, little tests that you can do with this copy could potentially get more clicks and more sales just by changing this compliment into a benefit, like a, a promise benefit outcome statement of some kind. Uh, the next here, next piece here, the next paragraph, um, let us grow is uh, introducing their uh, their offer, um, and so get growing with our fresh bowl bundle, and you'll have all the building blocks you need for heaping servings of all things fresh plus flavor. Cue the drool, no judgment here. So fresh bowl bundles, um, that's their offer. Um, the building blocks you need for heaping servings, so that's the benefit, right? You get a ton of servings uh, when you when you order this. And then the fresh and flavorful is going to be your feature. So those are the features of actually ordering and eating this food. Um, and then cue the drool, no judgment here with a little bit of personality, kind of following in line with the compliment above. Uh, cue the drool, no judgment here. Um, I do like this phrase. I wouldn't change this. Or, and if I did test into it, it'd be something similar to this of like, um, you're going to want to eat more than one serving um, and it's healthy for you to do that. So something like that could, could help here. But I like to cue the drill, no judgment here because they're being very specific on liking greens as opposed to just generally you're great at doing everything. So this is this is more specific. It's not as specific as, uh, as I would say you could get it, but it is more specific than just saying you're great at this. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good setup um, going with the offer mentioning the benefits, talking about the features, and then making some kind of making a personality statement to, to have people connect with you. Um, here, this is the first CTA. Um, I believe the image up here is linked. Yeah, it is. So it's linked in track. So if they click on this, they can go. I think this whole top part is linked. So um, this thing says, order your farm stand today. So as a part of this brand, uh, if you've never uh, come across Lettuce Grow, um, they have hashtag farm stand at table. So that's their whole, like, their whole concept is like we, we trade, we sell from a farm stand and we put it on your table. Um, you can ship it and order it and things like that. So it's farm stand at table. So order your farm stand today. Um, this is a play on the bundle, right? The fresh bowl bundle, but I don't know what's in the bundle. So, um, I've never shopped the bundles. I don't, or never shopped bundles from Lettuce Grow. I, they haven't mentioned in any of this. It's just shown a picture of this. So I, I can't be sure if this is everything that's in it. Is it the tomatoes? Like what's in this? And they say, um, order your farm stand today. So it's like, okay, what's in my farm stand though? So I'd have to click to go find out, or I don't because I'm like, I don't know what this is, so I'm not gonna click. I'm not, I don't know what's in the bundle, so I don't wanna order it. Um, and people may not click. So it's something here that with the CTA, I'd potentially test to see if you can increase your click uh, click rate is say um, something like um, order your bull bundle now or uh, learn what's inside the bull bundle for you or something like that. Talk about the, the actual offer that, that you made up here and put that in the CTA and say, learn more, buy now, um, reserve, here's what's inside the bundle, order now, something like that. Get more specific and more concise with this and I bet your clicks will go, go up. I do appreciate the fact that they're leaning into their farm stand concept, um, but I would test that other subject line of like, here's what's in your bull bundle, order now, and see if that'll get you more clicks. The more eyeballs you can get on your offer, the more likely you're gonna make more sales. And I think that you could improve this or just test um, into different phrases for their CTA. On uh, the next section here, we have a little image and then um, wondering what to cook this week. We've got you covered. Just head over to our recipes page and start planning the ultimate homegrown menu. Um, so this is interesting. So they're, they're offering a bull bundle to their list. I have not purchased anything from them yet. So I'm a non-buyer and they're offering recipes to me with the ingredients that they sell. So there's two things here that I think. One, they're using recipes to try and sell these ingredients or the yeah the, the food, right, which is fine. And or they're using recipes to give people who already buy food to give them ideas on what to cook with it. So I think those, are, those two would be great ideas. Um, but the way they position this is, you've already got the food, let me give you recipes to cook it. Um, so this gets rid of 
roughly half of that audience that doesn't hasn't bought yet or however many people haven't purchased yet um they don't they're not gonna look at these recipes because um they don't have the ingredients or if they go looking for inspiration they're not gonna buy from you they're gonna go to the store and get their own um because ordering from this may not be convenient enough so something i would do with the recipes and i would test into say hey if you want to learn what you can cook with our bundle and, and make it specific to the offer the offer appears fresh full bundles so let's say hey here's the recipes that um seven or 10 or 12 other people have made with these bundles. Here's what you can make too. If you order today, um, make it specific to the offer and don't go general again. So that's something too. The theme here is like lettuce grow is going, is staying general with their, with their copy. And if they get more specific, there's a good chance they're getting more clicks and more sales because of it. Um, and then, like I mentioned earlier, the farm stand to table, this is their hashtag and how they're building their social community. Um, I think this is fine down here. I think they're going from the offer to uh, recipes and then to social. So they're moving um, backwards through the sales uh, sales journey. So they're saying people who want to buy will buy. People who are still interested, but they want inspiration, whatever. Uh, they're not ready to buy, but they're looking for a solution. Here's some recipes. And then people who are still just kind of connecting the brand um, and they're not really aware of their problem, but we can do that on social and show them that. Here's our socials. So they kind of did a reverse, a reverse sales funnel here or a reverse sales process here in their email where I would test this email uh, another thing too is I would test this email where I would cut the email off right here at the order of your farm stand today and just use that CTA and see if this email, everything above that could actually sell more because there's less time here for people to get distracted with and see if you get more clicks and sales because of that. I would test that email as an A-B test uh, just to see what would happen. Uh, finally, we have the footer information. So we have a little logo here. I believe it's the brand logo. They have a menu. Uh, they have a uh, Lettuce Girl app, which is very interesting. Um, I've not seen a lot of brands that actually have their own apps. So I'm assuming they has recipes, as content. I'm assuming they have, um, you can, you do Q&A with them. I assume they have different features. I have not looked at it, so don't take my don't take that as, as what it is. But I'd imagine that's what they're doing with this to get people more engaged with the brand and actually um, uh, spend more over the long term because they're, they're a part of the community. Then you have your socials and your footer information. So ultimately, I think two things for this, two insights. One, Let Us Grow could test this email and get way more specific with our copy, with the compliment here, and also uh, the judgment, uh, Kudu's Rule No Judgment, they get more specific with these little personality pieces. Um, they get more specific with their CTA, and then also with how they're using recipes to sell things, they can get more specific with that, like I mentioned uh, earlier in the video. So I think getting specific is the, the one big insight. The second big insight is, what can you test? Um, I would test the subject line to something else. I'd say, let's go bowling in here. I'd say uh, maybe something like fresh bowl bundle for you. Uh, get direct to the offer. This is a direct offer email. So put the offer in the subject line here and say, you know, a fresh bowl bundle, um, find out what's inside. Um, something like that. And I would just test things. So I test that, so test the subject line, test the specificity in these things. I would test cutting off the rest of this email from uh, this subject line down and, and send that as an A-B test and see which one gets more clicks and sales. Um, so those are the two big insights. You can test a lot in this one and I would get more specific with the copy and see what that does for you. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the insights that I pulled from these emails. I hope you can take that for these back to your brain to make more sales. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, um, I've got more videos over on my YouTube channel where I'm breaking down, um, breaking down brand emails uh, as part of my 100, 100 emails, 100 days challenge. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you have a good one.